Hey guys, I hope everyone out there is safe and doing well. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is the Corn Beef and Hash by Armor. Uh, I've never bought this before, but I, I'm familiar with their brands. Hardy Home Style Corn Beef and Hash. I bought it for two something at Publix. I just happened to be there. Um, but you can find it cheaper at Walmart. They sell it every, almost everywhere. Save a lot Target. So that's the nutrition facts. It's gluten free. I'm trying to find the ingredients. If you have a sodium problem, I don't recommend this. There's the ingredients. Okay. So I posted a video on how to store stuff like this if you want to go check that out. I also have a couple of other brands um, for corned beef and hash that I liked and disliked if you want to go check those videos out. So I sectioned off about a half a cup for my breakfast this morning. Okay, and I heated it up in this microwave safe uh, container. And when I got it out of the microwave, you guys, it was saturated in this fat or grease or whatever it is. So I was like, oh, okay. I had to take the fork and put the corned beef to the side to squeeze out any excess oil or grease um, just so I could put it as a side. I eat this as a side with breakfast. Um... I don't know, you guys. It was just too greasy. Sorry, Armor, but I'm not going to buy this again. Uh, but I will I will um, use the rest of it. I'm not. Nothing gets thrown away in this house, y'all. Uh, what I do is when I buy corned beef and hash, because I don't have time to make my own, what I do is when I open it up and I eat it and heat up a little bit and I see that it's saturated in fat and grease, I save stuff like this to flavor my soups, stews, and to flavor and and fluff up my rice. Don't knock it till you try it, you guys. A tablespoon of this stuff per cup of rice is it'll flavor it enough. But if you want to add some extra flavor, if you want corned beef and hash and and um, and rice, add a couple of tablespoons per cup. It's not going to hurt nothing but give you flavor and fluffy rice. Um, it'll flavor up food really well. It doesn't matter the brand or anything like that. So when I when I buy a can and it's too greasy for me, I use it in my cooking. Instead of adding salt or oils or butters, I go to this. So go check that video out on how I store this so it can stay fresh for a long time because stuff like this that has meat in it will go bad really quick. Um, so after I got done eating, I checked out the container and it was really greasy y'all. And so was my plate. So sorry, armor. I won't be buying this again. Um, it's just too greasy for me, but like I said, Hey, it works out great because I can use it to flavor my food and grease up my food. All right, you guys. Um, other than that, it, it just tasted like any other uh, corned beef and hash. It didn't taste too salty or too bland. Um, it's just too greasy, that's all. Uh, I think that they could tone down the greasiness. It doesn't have to be that fatty, but, you know, for, for almost $3 a can, they could have done something about that. I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.